have issues with each other, they seem like happy and they went about life, but I also never saw them compassionate and love dovey, hold hands, kiss, hug, none of that. And what happened is when my parents got divorced, it was just like, it just happened. There was no talking about it. My parents never told me why they got divorced. Um, it was just, hey, mom, mom's moving out. You're going to be living with dad now. And that's what happened. We didn't discuss it. And I just was like, OK. I, I dealt with it. I'd go to the pool. And that's where I would let all of my emotions out. Like, yeah, you like swam fast. <laughs> she swam fast. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd cry, I'd cry my eyes out yes. at the pool. But then I would come home. And not knowing that it would be OK to even discuss these things with my parents or my friends or anybody. Like, I never talked so to anybody the about it. It was just, yeah, the, the non-communication. And so do you talk to you them now why they did it It's that? funny because, yeah, yes, but I've had, to have, right? I've had to have help with that, actually, because I still am working on the communication. Um, I'm not, like, the best communicator, and that frustrates my husband like, like crazy because he's, like, this <laughs> says anything verbal person. And he's the one that actually approached my mom and was like, so why why did you and Dan get divorced? And I was like, yes, why? Wow. <laughs> and I was like, thank you, Sasha. <laughs> so I mean, I still hesitate and have difficulties communicating and talking about, about those things. But it finally was like addressed, you know? And I think I was closure. Yeah, right? 25, 26 years old when I actually, you know, what was it? Almost 13 years later is when I actually talked to my parents about why they got divorced. When I probably was building up all this tension and all these issues about the divorce, and I had no idea what it was about. And I think communication is just lack in my family, which is a huge issue. So, because we're in a room full of mostly moms, what, what advice would you give? And dad, and mom and dad. Right. Evan mm -hmm. has four kids, so he's... Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 